Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and Apple today released iOS 13 developer beta 6. Yes, 6 betas so far. And if you follow me here on the channel, uh, yesterday we talked about how Apple could be switching at any moment to releasing new betas every week, right? They were releasing new betas from beta one to beta five every two weeks. Now it looks like Apple has shifted to a one week release cycle, which means iOS 13 is ramping up production here. Apple is ramping up production, trying to cover as much ground as possible to make the software stable. You can anticipate my follow-up video coming down the road here in the next two or three days as well. So stay tuned for that. Now, public beta testers, if you want to get your hands on this software, I'll let you guys know on Twitter. You can follow me. Links will be in the description and I'll let you guys know when the public beta version of iOS 13, developer beta five actually, uh, will be out for you. That should be this afternoon or tomorrow at the latest. I don't see this going any further. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's new so far with iOS 13 developer beta 6. Now there's a few things here, splash screens in the app store. We see that the Apple Arcade is now uh, featured on these splash screens here and the app updates categories is also featured under the splash screens for the app store. New in beta 6 as well, at least for my devices, I just got this prompt for the actual photos application. So explaining more details of the photos and how you can edit videos and crop videos and all the cool settings with Within photos, which by the way, I'll be covering the photos application in depth on iOS 13 once the software is released. There's just a ton of new features, but the splash screen here explains uh, briefly some of the new features within the photos application. Now let's go ahead and compare beta 5, which is on the iPhone uh, 10s Max here, uh, versus beta 6 on the iPhone uh, 10R. Now the first thing you may notice in Control Center when you activate dark mode, you see here that it tells you when dark mode will be active and deactivated if you have the automated option enabled within the dark mode settings in the settings application. So it says here until sunset. So it will be off until sunset. We don't see that option here in beta five. So if we head on over to settings, and we go to display and brightness, you have the ability to set it to automatic, and this will automatically transition to dark mode or the light mode when the sun rises and the sun sets. So that option now is featured under the control center right there. So I think it's pretty cool. It's more clear when the actual dark mode will be active or deactivated depending on the time of the day. Now, if we take a look here at some of these sharing options in beta five, again on the right and beta uh, six on the left, we see that Apple cleared this up and made this a lot easier. We only have the all photo data option. So when you go to share a photo, this will be just one single option. You can toggle this on or off. This will send the photo in original quality, high quality, and that's it. You don't have to worry about anything else. It's just one single option. Now, when we go to Siri shortcuts in settings, so let's take a look at the settings application here and go to the Siri shortcuts extension in settings on both of these devices. And you'll see that there's minor changes here as well. We have location services up at the top. We have allow untrusted shortcuts, which for some reason wasn't enabled on the Max model here in beta five. It is now uh, available on all devices, it looks like in beta six. And we have, of course, all the previous options there as well. So again, minor changes so far that I've come across within the software. It's only been approximately an hour and a half since I downloaded beta six. As I mentioned before, you guys can anticipate my follow-up on more additional new features and changes in the upcoming days. And of course, a longer term follow-up as well, because I'll be testing the battery and the performance and any bugs that I come across. I'll be sharing that with you guys on my longer term follow-up. So thank you for watching today's video, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you very soon. Peace.